Hey, what's up? My name is Tara and I have formulate skincare products. Today, I wanna to share with you guys how to make this snail secretion extract facial serum. This goes hand in hand with my last video. I made a milky toner with snail secretion extract. By the way, if you've never formulated before, I recommend watching my Formulating for Beginners series so you can learn how to formulate. Also, I post two bonus videos every month on Patreon and for YouTube members. So here's the formula for the serum we're making. If you don't know anything about formulas, go watch my Formula for Beginners series. But I want to specifically talk about some of the ingredients in phase B, snail secretion extract. I bought this from a formulator at sampleshop.com. According to them, it's an organic compound containing allantoin collagen, elastin, and glycolic acid. These compounds are highly beneficial in helping the skin appear brighter, smoother, and more rejuvenated. If you don't have this ingredient, you can just use water instead or a different extract. I also decided to add in this collagen peptide from formulatorsampleshop.com. It's an animal-free collagen peptide. It contains three amino acids, glycine proline and hydroxyproline. It's said to help plump the skin, soften fine lines and wrinkles. Again, if you don't have this ingredient, you can use a different peptide or a different extract of choice or just use distilled water in place of this ingredient. Then I decided to add in this ingredient called Saccharomyces ferment. I hope I said that right, I did Google it. Um, this is a popular ingredient in K and J Beauty. I got it from formulatorsampleshop.com as well. And according to them, this ingredient is a potent anti-aging ingredient and research has shown that Yeast fractions help to increase cellular respiration and metabolism to improve efficiency while also increasing the production of structural proteins such as collagen and elastin. Also, before we get into formulating, I want to point out I do have this entire beginner's guide to making serums. So if there's anything that confuses you in this video, go watch my video, Formulating for Beginners, all about serums to learn how to formulate serums, how to create your own formulas, how to thicken them, everything you need to know about serums for beginners. All right, so today we're making a 100 gram batch. I'm starting with phase A and I already have propendiol and glycerin weighed out in my bowl. These are both humectants and they are also going to help hydrate the hyaluronic acid. So I have two different types of hyaluronic acid, ultra low molecular weight hyaluronic acid and high molecular weight hyaluronic acid. So the ultra low molecular weight hyaluronic acid penetrates the skin better because it has an ultra low molecular weight, but it will not thicken water as opposed to high molecular weight hyaluronic acid penetrates less into the skin, but it thickens water. So essentially I'm using the high molecular weight hyaluronic acid as a thickener for the serum, but I'm using the ultra low molecular weight hyaluronic acid as a humectant for the skin since it penetrates the skin. Now I'm also going to add in the Uxil K900, which is the preservative into this phase. And then we're gonna move on to phase B. So for phase B, I'm going to add in the distilled water. You can use a hydrosol if you want to add a natural fragrance. And then I'm going to add in the sodium phytate. This is a chelating agent. If you wanna learn more about chelating agents, I have a video on that. Then I'm gonna add in the two powdered ingredients, the L-panthenol and niacinamide and dissolve those. Then I'm gonna add in the snail secretion extract followed by the tripeptide 29. And then the, uh, the fermented ingredient, I forget how to say it and mix all of those together and make sure all of the powdered ingredients are dissolved before you add in your phase A. Just pour the phase A into B and mix and you will notice the formula thickens just slightly. You will literally only have a slightly thickened consistency. Let it sit overnight, at least I let mine sit overnight, but you don't have to, you can just let it sit for maybe like an hour or so and then check the pH. The natural pH was 7.97, which is a little bit too high. So what I did is I took this pH, so, uh, pH adjuster solution. It's 50% citric acid dissolved in 50% distilled water. And I have a video all about how to adjust pH, how to raise it, how to lower it, how to use a pH meter, everything you need to know. That video will be linked down below. But I just added a couple drops of my pH adjusting solution and got the pH to 5.5 and I just left it there. Now, the last thing you wanna do is 
bottle up your serum. I'm using these half ounce glass dropper bottles from containerpackaging.com. They're not sponsoring this video, but they did sponsor the Instagram video of this formula. And I was so excited when they reached out to me because I've been buying from them since 2017. So I'm just giving them an extra promotion right here for free because I love them. Use my code Tara, all capital letters, 10 for 10% 10 off your order. So they know I sent you. So hopefully I can keep working with them because I love working with companies that I actually love and use. But yeah, that is today's formula. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Go watch the milky toner that goes right along with this. So you can have an entire collagen snail secretion fermented good old skincare regimen time. All right, that's it for today. Talk to you later. Also, don't forget to go over and check out my Patreon where I post two exclusive videos every single month. So there is a ton of videos you can go over there and binge watch for only $5 a month. You get access to the entire backlog. And for $10 a month, you can get a shout out for your small business. So let's shout everybody out. Naturesfarmgirl.com. Let's Blend LLC at Stardust Bath and Body on Instagram, HempyGirl.com, ShopLevi's.com, Owl and Lily on Etsy, Skin Lounge Co. on Etsy, BlackPetalBeauty.com, EmbraceBeautyEssentials.com, Legendary Bath and Body, Astari Apothecary, Raviga Cosmetics here on YouTube, ExoreBB.com, PardoNaturals.com, Natural State Skin, TheNatureInUs.ca, NearCatalier.com, use the code on the screen for 20% off, EarthAndAmberNaturals.com, Shark City Naturals, Day to Relax Spa, Crowned Glory LLC, LH Scented Soaps and more, Janae Rose, Health Nut Beauty on Etsy, VelvetTemptations.com, Journey Rose Beauty, CHRBrands.com, Homestead Life Goods on Etsy, VanillaBathAndBody.com, Madhouse Mama Soaps, Xpo.com, Mystical Morning on Etsy, Seventh House and Oak on Etsy, and MyCrownAndGlowery.com. Thank you guys so much for your support. Literally, without you guys on the Patreon, I wouldn't be able to continue doing what I do. So thank you so much.